Okay, so let's just take a moment. We have a beautiful, silky plate of pasta here, garlic prawns, and my special little spring onion pesto. Guys, this is my ultimate plate of heaven. This is garlic prawn spaghetti with a little Asian twist. Okay, so those of you who have been watching for a while would know that I have a deep love of fusion pasta. Yes, look at the smile on my face. I haven't even started cooking and I'm so excited. This one is right at the top of my fusion pasta list. Garlic prawn spaghetti. All right, and I'm gonna make what I call spring onion pesto. Yes, that's right. If you're Italian, you should probably look away right now, but it's really tasty. Haters gonna hate, trust me on this one. You need a lot of spring onion, first of all. And that just goes into my mortar. And I'm gonna add some finely chopped ginger here and then a really good dash of salt. And then I just wanna pound this until I get a kind of rough paste. Okay, so this is what you're looking for. Chop that out into a bowl. Already the smell of that ginger and the spring onion. So good. Now I need some oil here, but I want to heat it up because I kind of want to take the raw edge off that spring onion. So I'm going to add some vegetable oil in here and some sesame oil. That is going to give us a wonderful fragrance. And I want to heat this up just until I can see some bubbles when I put in a wooden spoon or a chopstick. And now a little bit of drama. Pour that hot oil over your spring onion mix. It's such a satisfying sound. Okay, just mix that through a little bit. And there we go, our spring onion pesto, done. So for the pasta, we're gonna stick with the Italians on this one. We want some rolling, boiling water and a lot of salt. As the saying goes, it should be as salty as the ocean. I've got some spaghettini pasta here, it goes in. Now the rest is all about timing. If there's one thing that we share with the Italians, it's a hatred of soggy noodles. So while that pasta is cooking, I'm gonna get straight on to doing my prawns. Just need a little bit of oil and some garlic. Once I can smell that garlic sizzling away and getting beautifully fragrant, I'm gonna add in my prawns. And then a judicious pinch of chili flakes here. You know, I'm usually all for going overboard with the chili powder, but here I really want the beautiful flavor of the prawns and the garlic to shine through rather than the spiciness. Now, just when those prawns have turned a beautiful blush pink, which tells me they're nearly ready, I'm gonna add in some soy sauce and some oyster sauce. And at this point, we should be looking fairly saucy in here and quite loose with the liquid because what I want to do is pop out our dente pasta into here and get it to finish cooking and soaking up all that salty goodness. So you need to keep an eagle eye on that pasta. The only way to tell is to keep pulling out a piece, just checking. Mm. Okay, now we're talking. Still a little bit of bite through the center. I wanna quickly pull out a little bit of that pasta water in case we need it to loosen everything up later. And then my pasta goes straight in with my prawns. Now I want the heat back on under those prawns and I'm just going to stir and toss that spaghetti in that sauce until everything becomes thick and luscious. Okay, so you can see now that sauce has really thickened up. Spaghetti has soaked up all that extra liquid. Mm, now we're really starting to see some magic. I'm gonna put in our spring onion mixture. Wow, look at that. The glass, the beautiful fragrance. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. Now, for me, this is getting a little bit too thick, so I'm gonna add a little bit of that pasta water. All right, and I think we're pretty much at the perfect stage. So we wanna get this straight out onto a plate. And there you go guys, garlic prawn spaghetti with my own little Asian twist. I'm so excited, as if you can't tell already.
those flavors. My goodness. The garlic and the prawn and then that beautiful spring onion ginger flavor just hits you right at the end there. And then of course that little tiny hit of chili. Whew. This plate is about to be gone. <laughs> Yum. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.